Artie Marine, much love, G. Mob Nasty, what up? I'm over here clicking on the wrong things. What the hell? Much love, everybody. Uh, I, I was working on... Damn, hold on, my bad. This mic is tripping. I was uh, uh, working on the Traviesos episode right now. And I had to delete everything, so that's why I'm a little... Uh, I've always it behind, but a little like, oh, shit. But yeah, I was working on it right now and uh, finished. I only got one episode, I mean, one season, not a season, one scene done because I had to delete the program and reinstall it. But but yeah, fucking, uh, uh, we'll, we'll get that shit going for sure. I'll probably do it tomorrow. Let's see. Sinaloa, what up, G? Hector Salazar, how you doing? I'm doing well, I'm doing well. Probably going to be on real quick because I got to go do my, my jog. I haven't jogged today, uh, so I got to get that going for sure. Alexis, Cubo, how you been? Uh, how you doing? Jim, doing well. I'm doing really well. Roger, what up, homie? The day room. I wanted to bring the uh, uh, the day room back. Look at there it is right there, the day room. But uh, yeah, maybe soon. Maybe I'll do it soon. It's just been too fucking hot. It is way too hot. Like to have four people back here. I'm gonna have two people here tomorrow. No, no, not two people. Uh, me included. I'm having a guest tomorrow. So I'm going to point the fan towards her so she's not miserable uh, on her side. You know what I should try to do? I should have tried to fucking hook up the the, uh, the iPad to see if I could have got two, pe two, two different points. Damn it, I should have thought about that shit. Oh, well, fuck it. We'll, we'll, we'll get it. We'll get it. All the way from the shy. Much love to shy town. Drunken chef. How's it going? Much love, G. Yeah, uh, it was hot today over here, but uh, uh, I spent most of my day uh, at the uh, either in traffic or at the children's hospital. My daughter had an appointment, so I went over to the children's hospital. We were, uh, her her um, what is it biannually or her biannual uh, neurology checkup. So we had to we have to go over there, wait for the doctor, and then after that we have to uh, uh, get to see the nutritionist. See the uh, uh, get some blood work and do all that. So it's it's a process, but we got that shit taken care of. Oliver, much love, G. Tomorrow football. <laughs> My bad, G. The only reason I'm laughing is because I don't I don't know uh if you guys uh, uh whoever follows me on Instagram, I've been uh fucking with the. Uh, with a few of the football fans, uh, I already uh, I, sh I I go on TikTok and look for different football uh, football uh, TikToks and shit. I found one for the Raiders. It was Mario. That was the first one I found actually. I wasn't even looking for it, but it was Mario Lopez whooping shit on the Raiders, and I was like, oh shit! Like, I, I was like, damn man, uh, uh, is he is he correcting this? And some people got mad, like low key, they got really mad and they were pissed off. And they started talking shit, but other people, uh, other people were were kind of a uh, uh, like that's why I don't mean like dissing the Raiders and shit. So the next one I had to do was the Niners. I did one for the Niners, and, and somebody did get mad on that one too. Uh, he he got he got a little upset. Hold on, my brother's calling me. Let me just text him. Uh, I'll call you back. I'm on the live. Yeah, I don't like to leave my, my little brother on, on, on hang because if he, need, he needs me, then, then he'll call back or, or text me. Yeah, so they got mad, right? So I did one for the Niners. And one fool got mad too. He's like, because it was like, all I, I, but I'm, I'm making polls out of him. So I, I'll show you. Hold on. Let me see if I have it here. Uh, hold on. Let me see here. What was the poll for the Niners? This guy was saying this against the Niners. My bad. Let me look for it here. Where is it at? Damn, I have that much things up here. Oh, it's a guy has 49ers tattooed on his head and they're removing it. No, he says, uh, let me hold on, let me go back. He's removing it and it says, when you realize your team is trash. And I was like, oh, that's fucked up, man. So um, I, I, I asked, I, I, is he telling the truth? Should he be removing that tattoo? And uh, let me see how many people voted here. 79% of the people said he, he was. 
And then when it comes to uh, Raiders, let me see how many people talk shit about Mario Lopez talking shit. 44% said, so actually I have more disagreements that, that, but today I did the Cowboys. Hold on, let me, let me show, uh, let me see if I can look for it. Hold on real quick. Hold on real fast, man. I'm going to, I'm going to have to, uh, I'm going to have to share this shit. Give me a minute. I'm going to share all of them real fast to show you guys what I'm talking about. So it makes more sense. All right. And, and people were getting mad low key though. Trigger warning. Shortly after this individual made a video about me, I started getting attacked. And What's this guy? All right, I don't trigger want... warning. Shortly after this, about trigger warning. this individual made a video about I'm trying to watch this. Okay. Let's see. Let's see here. Uh, let me go to the first one. Raiders Mario Lopez. Hold on. I'll show you guys that one. And then I'm gonna go to the uh, 49ers one, and I'm gonna post them all, all, all the. Uh, uh... Hold on, let me see here. I'm gonna post all of them. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep going throughout the season. See what we find here. All right, here we go. Let's go here and let's go to TikTok. There we go. All right. So there's the TikTok. Let me move. Actually, let me get me out of the picture. You guys could just you guys just see me, right? So here we go. This is Mario Lopez woofing on the Raiders. Who is the worst group of fans? Raider fans are the worst group of fans. It's because I'm a Charger fan out there. That's some West Coast stuff right there. Anytime there's a Raider fan, Raiders had to move out of LA because they were bringing down the real estate for <laughs> And the crime was getting too hot. <laughs> so I said they're in Vegas now. No love for the Raiders. Yeah, so people got mad at that, right? And then uh, let me see what uh, I'm going to put this one here. 49ers tattoo removal. People got mad at this one, too. Low key. Ah, Where is it at? I got to look for it, man. Tattoo removal head. I'm going to put head. Ah, oh, man, I can't find it. All right, let me go to let me go to maybe I could put like, and I I don't I don't mean this but uh, uh I would just put 49ers trash, and let's see if that comes up. Tattoo, I'll put tattoo. Damn, I'm about to look for that one. All right, let me go for this one here. This is the one I posted today though, but that one's pretty simple. It's just a. Uh, they said when you realize your your uh your team is 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 trash and then it had them removing the the uh hold on let's go to this one here this one this is one i shared today nobody people got mad about this town nobody wants you around period oh look at it fellas huh? <laughs> you crying boy yeah. you crying boy Woo! maybe we'll go back down to mcdonald's yeah. get you a wham burger some french fries Woo! how about a wine again <laughs> You little sissy boy! <laughs> I don't know why I thought that's funny. That's fucked up. I shouldn't be messing with uh, people's football teams. But yeah. Uh, I couldn't find the 49er one. But, but I'll look for it. I'll look for it. Let me see here. The thumbnail. Yeah, it is hot, G. People got mad, though. Poodle Cowboy Nation. Green Bay Packers taking it all away. I'll do one for the Green Bay Packers. Don't worry, G. I got you. Oh, shit, man. Two people from my daughter's class tested positive. Fucking shit. I do where I was to test tonight. The Cowboys video had me dying. I'm telling you, that's just, it's sad. <laughs> no tomorrow. Uh, let me see. One thing you can count on is the Cowboys having to look forward to next. Ah, oh, that's fucked up. Oh, man. Washington State Cougars, I have Washington State, but I'm living in Shy right now. But I'm going back after Christmas. That's what's up. Ah oh, shit. Uh, let me see here. NFL, we uh, NFL fans, all we do is talk shit. <laughs> That's true though. I and, and it's and it's crazy because people get angry. What up, Nate? Much love. People get angry. Like I've had a few people be like, "What the fuck? What do you mean, homie?" And this and that. And I'm like, "Dog, chill out. I'm fucking around, man." People get mad though. What you mean, Omi? Raiders all day or, or Cowboys all day? But I'm not gonna lie. When I was in YA and, and I needed to gamble, I would always, 
fucking gamble against uh, um, Raider fans and Cowboy fans because like their fans, they they really believe that they could beat anyone, like like they do. And they'll put money on that shit. And they'll be like, fuck no. Like, like hell yeah. Fuck yeah, we're beating Tampa Bay this year. It's like, are you sure? Like, are, are, are you sure? You guys are beating Tampa Tampa Bay this year. Fuck yeah, we are. Like, all right, dog. Like, put some money on it. And then next thing you know, I got sopas and, and hygiene and shit. Oh, let me see here. That's good. Uh, saludos to the fam. That's what's up, G. Kid Rock. What did Kid Rock do? Classic Joe Dirt. Ah, uh, let me see here. P Town, baby, much love. It is too sensitive. It's good. Yeah, I I post. I'm not. I'm gonna keep post. I'm gonna keep posting them. I I'm telling you. I uh, damn Raiders never make the playoffs. Shit. I I I already got the. Who should I go for next? Who should I go for next? I already got the uh, the Raiders. I got the Cowboys and the Niners. Who else has like an extremely like crazy fucking fan base? I was going to do the Rams, but I don't think they really have like a, a passionate fan base like that. Honestly, I'm not shitting on them. I just don't see it. Like like Raider fans are, are, are fucking like ride or die. Like they'll tattoo that shit on them. And, and fucking uh, uh, same thing with the uh, I seen with, with Niner, Niner fans and and. Uh, um, and and Cowboy fans, Rams fans, I don't know. Green, yo, you know what? Green Bay, yeah, and Steelers fans. Can you be a Cowboy fan? Nah, I'm good, G. Yeah, you're right. The the, the Steeler fans are are they're also like that too. I'm gonna look for some Steeler fans, uh, fucking things. I'll probably never get to like teams that nobody likes, like fucking uh, uh like let's say like a uh, uh, Seattle. Like nobody gives a shit about no Seahawks. I I never met one Seahawks fan in my life, like never. Patriots, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> you're right, G. The Patriot fans go fucking wild. I'm going for them next. You are right, G. Patriot fans, they go fucking crazy. Like, <laughs> they do, though. They do go nuts. Like, they really believe in that team. Like Brady left and, and they like they're not gonna do shit, but they, they really believe like fuck yeah, it's it's gonna happen. It's like dog, he's been gone for years. You guys ain't going nowhere. Uh let me see. Green Bay Packers is the best team in the league. We've been robbed the last five <laughs> Damn, it's a shame nobody has been locked up. <laughs> Dad, they've been robbed G. Five years in a row? Why though? Like, what's the conspiracy? Like, like, why, why are they, uh, uh, why are they singling out Green Bay, with, like Wisconsin? I'll be like, it's not a, it's not even a large market. So, so why, why, why are they singling out that? I, I could understand if it was like, we can't have fucking LA win every year, or we can't have New York win. They're, they're, those are large markets. We got to get like Middle America. Uh, uh, why, why, why Green Bay, G? Like, why are they targeting them? I, I need to know. I need to know this conspiracy. Uh, let me see here. Saints fan? I, did, I, I, I actually never heard. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's the first time I heard somebody say they were a Saints fan. That's what's up, G. Nice. I made it. What up, Havoc? The Packers are wild. Cowboys, that's what's got there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do they? Oh, uh, let me see. Shit. Oh, uh, no. Damn. Damn, the Cowboys pass some content for real? Do they? We should look up. Hold on. I'm going to start looking them up. Raider fans fade away like, oh, damn. Hold on. Let me look this up again. I'm going to look up some more. Uh, hey, Nunez, what up, G? I'm going to look up. Uh, and, I'm, and I don't mean this to disrespect anyone's teams, but I'm going to put sucks at the end of it just so we can see. Uh, hold on. Let me get rid of me real quick. Just so we can see uh, what they have for them. Let's go with Patriots. And I'll, I'll probably even. Patriots. Suck. Let me see what happens. What happens here. That's not the Patriots, is it? 
That's the Cowboys. Oh, they don't have any funny memes, though. Let's see this guy spitting. If he's spitting knowledge. Let, you guys let me know. Top five reasons why the Patriots suck. Oh, man. That guy's that's way too high of his audio. I'm not listening to that. Uh, let me see here. Patriots! Uh, what happened? Uh, how did you lose to the Buffalo Bills? Uh, hey, they, they got a squad, though. The Buffalo Page Bills. They're going to be doing some damage this year. Low key. Damn, let me see here. Pat haters. And just like that, poof, Lola's gone. Wrong. They don't really have a lot of funny shit for the Patriots, unfortunately. I got, man, I thought it was going to be better. Let me just put, let me put tra Patriots trash. Let me look that up and let me see if there's anything. No. No, nah, they don't have anything. All right, let's look for Steelers. Let's see what they have for the Steelers. Let's see here. Let's go, baby. Steelers on top. We're playoff bound. Huh? I'm not too sure about that, bud. So much trash. What the? Let me see here. All right. Let me look. Bengals. Hey man, I think you got him. You want what he's having? No. That's what I thought. Damn, Bengals beating up on the Steelers. Ah, oh, that's messed up. All right, let me get back over here. My bad, everybody. All right, let's see. Let's see what's going on here. It's because the San Francisco 49ers keep knocking us out of the damn playoffs. It's a conspiracy. <laughs> Puro Steelers. I live. Oh no, shit! You do, Anji. How, how did you become a, a Raiders fan? If if you live, if you grew up out there, how does that happen? My half is a Raiders a Raiders fan. A, a, a lot of uh, a lot of people are Raiders fans. I gambled and was a bookie since 94. First game was Super Bowl 29, Niners versus Chargers. I'm going to tell you guys a story about that right now. Spread was Niners, negative uh, 22.5, and the whole world was betting on Chargers except me. I I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you guys a, a, a story about that right now. Uh, let me see, a Raider Nation. And it actually added to me not liking uh, football for a long-ass time. If the Patriots gonna show the <laughs> deflated, there they cheat. The Patriots cheat. Oh, he wants to clown on everyone's <laughs> whatever it's team. What sports do you like, G? I I'm not gonna lie, G. All right, I'm a Lakers fan. I'm a Lakers fan, and and it doesn't look too good for the Lakers. It does not look too good for the Lakers this year. So it, it is what it is. You know what I mean? Like, hey, everybody goes through it, dog. Like. I'm pretty sure, damn, the Lakers didn't even make it to fucking, uh, uh, we didn't make it to the play-in tournament, but fuck it, we, we just need to get rid of Russ, get rid of, get, get rid of uh, Westbrook, and, and we're good, but yeah, so, um, uh, Nuggets, they got a pretty good squad though, low-key, but nah, they ain't doing shit, they, they ain't doing shit, the Nuggets are gonna choke like they do every year. Uh, that, that's what they That's what they love to do They love to do that shit They love to make it like Like have a great season Fuck yeah Win like 60, 70 fucking games No not 70 They'll win like 58 to, to 60 games They'll be like Fuck yeah We're gonna do it this year And then they'll get to the To the uh, 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 To the semi-conference uh, uh, Finals And then they'll get knocked out Second round Bam Get the fuck out of here Yeah them fools ain't doing shit low key Well much Much love G Packers won the first Two Super Bowls ever Oh shit! Lakers and Dyers, little Dyers. I was driving today from a. Uh, uh, I I fucked up. I took the uh, uh uh like that because <laughs> it's just how it is, G. I'm telling you, hey, Benny, jump on the Lakers bandwagon, dog. We got you. We got you, homie. You could jump on with us. I'm telling you, G, you, 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 the, the Lakers, man, 
17 championships? You got this, G. Jump on. Uh, let, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me gotta tell you guys a story, though. It's a story that's it's, uh, ridiculous as hell uh, because Lakers have all the talent to waste. Fat. They did waste a lot of money. I'm not lying. They did waste. Don't bump the Lakers. <laughs> Love the Lakers, man. Love the Lakers. If you look at my first interview I've ever done, like on another channel, the first one I did was uh, was on uh, American Cholo, Gil, Gil's channel. If you look, I have my Laker gear on. Laker hat, Laker jacket. And when I went on Tony Ace, uh, 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 Tony, uh, uh, when I went to Rodium Radio, same thing. Laker hat, Laker jacket. Always got to represent. Yeah, so, uh, they need to make a handball. Oh, shit. Nah, I'm not that good at handball, though. Honestly, I, I wish I were. Okay, so this is, this is my, my Super Bowl. Ah, oh, dog. I'm gonna tell my Super Bowl story, and then I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to, to go on, go on other, 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 uh, other fans here. Cause it's it's Lakers Lakers all the, like Lakers all day. You know how we do, dog. You know how we do. But so this is fucked up. I had no interest in football at the time. I was a little kid. It was that 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 Super Bowl, uh, Niners versus Chargers. Niners uh, Chargers were from San Diego at the time. Niners uh, from San Francisco, right? Uh, and uh, um, my mom was like, Nah, Charlie. Like like they thought they were all all. all all like like gangstered out, right? So they were like, "Nah, you ain't going for the Niners, you're you're going for uh the Chargers." But I was like, I, I don't even know the fucking any of these teams. I'm not going for anybody, right? Like I didn't even want to go. My mom dropped us off on my uncle's pad to to watch, and it's fucked up because she put my my brother in a Chargers shirt. My brother doesn't even like football, and fucking as soon as we got to the like Chargers, Chargers, uh they they were they were uh talking shit to us, right? And they're like, now we have someone to laugh at every time, uh, uh, every time they score a touchdown. And sure enough, they did. They were clowning us. Ah ha ha! Chargers suck. Ah ha ha! Because they ended up. Uh, I remember they ended up whooping on on the. Uh, uh, they ended up whooping on fucking the uh, uh, the Chargers. Like it wasn't even close. And we were like, man, fuck that! I didn't even want to come to this stupid fucking game anyway. And we we were pretty pissed off. Honestly, we were pissed off. And I didn't like football for a long time after that. Like I, I it, it left us a bad taste in my mouth because I was like, man, fuck this shit. I don't even want to be here and I'm getting clowned. But that was all my, my Hefito's fault for putting us in that fucking, uh, putting my brother in that charger gear. Uh, let me see here. Golden State Warriors all day. Cut LeBron James. They don't need him. I'm saying send him back to the East Coast. I, LeBron James already, this is my problem with, with uh, fuck it, we're, we're going to talk some sports here. We're going to talk some sports. This is my problem with a lot of fans, Right? People might disagree with me because I do not have popular, I don't have popular sports opinions. I'm telling you guys that right now. If I were purely a sports channel, I guarantee you, most people would probably unsubscribe and hate my fucking guts. Like, like that, that's, that's how unpopular my, my sports opinions are. Uh, I, I think like this is, and I'll give you one one opinion. I, I was not a big Michael Jordan fan, at all. So uh, I thought he was a, a bit overhyped, and I could I could tell you the reasons why, but we, we won't get into that, right? But but that that's just me, and, and uh, a lot of people. I'm telling you, if I were purely a sports channel, a lot of people would, would not would not fuck with me. They they wouldn't. Uh, but yeah, so. So getting back to uh, let me see, LeBron James. The Laker, I think a lot of fans. They 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 like t they expect too much and they don't appreciate enough, right? Because LeBron James came to LA and brought a championship, and the championship that he brought was a championship that tied. It tied for the most NBA championships with, uh, 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 with the Celtics, and the Celtics being the biggest rival of of the Lakers, I was glad for that. 
So I was like, fuck yeah. Now, if he were to retire right now, would we hang LeBron's uh, jersey and the Raptors? If it were up to me, fuck no. Like, we wouldn't because he hasn't earned that. But he definitely did a great job as a Laker. He brought a championship. And what more could you ask for? Most teams don't get a championship. If you look at, okay, I'm going to, I could lift off, I could list off all the champions. Every championship for the last 22 years. I could go back even further than that, right? Let's go back to 1999. 1999. Who was it? San Antonio. The Spurs. 2000s, Lakers. 2001, Lakers. 2002, Lakers. 2003, the Spurs. 2004, Pistons. 2005, the Spurs. 2006, the Heat. 2007, the Spurs. 2008, the Lakers. No, no, 2008, not the Lakers. They went to the, it was the Celtics. Boo, boo. 2009, Lakers. 2010, Lakers. 2011, Mavericks. 2012, Heat. 2013, Heat. 2014, was it the Spurs? 2015, Warriors. 2016, was that the fucking, was it the Warriors? No. 2016 was the uh, uh, the Cavs. 2017 was the Warriors. Yeah, so basically, if you look at it, you, you're, you're just seeing the same teams repeat over and over and over, right? So uh, most, so my point is most teams do not win a championship. They, they don't. So for the Lakers to win a championship... Like, I got to give LeBron his props for that. I can't hate and say it's been a waste because it hasn't. He came to L.A., he won a championship. Most teams are not winning championships. Only one team wins a championship every year. So, for me, it's like, I, I can't I can't even hate on that. Javier, bet your favorite your favorite player was Kobe. Am I right? Uh, no, nah, I tell you, my favorite player of all time was uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Uh, I'm a huge uh, Kareem fan. Uh, I, I'm glad that he's still walking this earth and, and spreading his knowledge. So, uh, uh, big uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar uh, Abdul Jabbar fan. Um, even though I didn't get to see him play, when I was watching people play, my favorite player was Shaq. Because I was like, damn, that motherfucker is dominant as hell. Nobody could stop Shaq. Nobody could. Or I love the Hurricanes. Much love to USC. I rock with the Cougars. Javi Chivas or America? I'm not a big soccer fan, G, but I guess Chivas... Miami's a good team. Yeah, the, the Hurricanes or, or the Heat? Raider gang. Fuck, can't talk shit. The guy, okay, let me see here. Raider Nation. Shark Tank. Giants. How they fucked the Raiders in the Snow Bowl in 2001 with the BS rule. The birth of Tom. <laughs> uh, we did an interview uh, with you and Javier. Yeah, G, whatever. I'm telling you, whenever we get this shit going. <clears throat> uh, let me see here. I agree. MJ is overrated. And I, I don't think he wasn't a, a, a bad player at all. I don't. I just didn't think he was as, like, hyped as everyone made him out to be. You know what I mean? I, and and uh, Because that was a team. That was a team who uh, uh, who won those six championships it wasn't just michael jordan michael jordan never even made it to the conference finals without scotty pippen and and so so for me like like i'm telling you like that i know a lot of people will be like what the fuck you mean jordan was the goat and all kinds of shit like that right <laughs> but michael jordan never made it to the conference finals without scotty pippen and i'm not saying that scotty pippen's better i'm just saying like he couldn't do it without him I've only been to one football game uh, my whole life. Raiders versus the Broncos back in the day when I was a kid at the Coliseum in Inglewood. Uh, and it was uh, a prison riot. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it, G. Yes, every time I chat about sports with most people, they don't even uh, they don't even keep talking to me. I guess my opinion isn't popular. Yeah, I, I'm the same way. Kobe is LeBron's dad. Damn. Golden State Warriors. Kobe all day. Uh, I, I was a big Kobe fan. I actually have uh, Kobe shoes and uh, I have a Kobe drawing right here that I have. I actually have a, a Kobe Funko even. So I'm a big Kobe fan. Just when it comes to my favorite Laker of all times, it's going to be a uh, Kareem. Magic too. 
How about hockey? Are those games are dope? I never, I never watched hockey. Uh, I know the Kings had a squad for a while, and they were winning championships, and then I don't know what happened. <clears throat> oh, let me see what's up. Uh, uh, Kranz was a better team. Kranz? <laughs> Kranz wasn't better than Petrero, though. Now I'm fucking around, man. Petrero, we didn't have a, we didn't have a team. Who had the best teams in junior high in Monte? Uh, whoever went to school there, let me know. Uh, I know Petrero. I don't even know anyone who played on the teams for Petrero. Did we even have games? Did we have teams? I don't even remember. Tell you the truth. I know we had parks. Fletcher Park. There's more park. Uh, what else was there? Mountain View Park. So sometimes parks played against each other. But I don't know. If, did, did, did middle schools play against each other? I don't remember. Golden State Warriors. A lot of Warriors fans. Divine Hustles, much love. Keep hustling. Yes, ma'am. What's up, Cricket Sending Mine and Fool? What up, Chito? Much love, G. Lakers, Dodgers, Raiders. How you work? <laughs> oh, man. I, I never. I've never worn those, those Shaq shoes. Honestly, uh, this is this is my thing, right? Where I like to see myself as low maintenance and, and very casual, like low maintenance and very casual. But when it comes to shoes, I can't do it. I can't wear no cheap ass, and, and I don't know why. It's like, dog, the man doesn't make the. You know what I mean the shoe doesn't make the man? The man makes the shoe. Like sport that shit. But fuck, man. I could never, never wear Shaq's or LA gears. I can't do it, G. I can't do it. I would, I would love to. I've, Shaq is one of my favorite players of all fucking times. If you've seen Shaq in his prime, I was in YA when they were winning championships. And I was like, man, they couldn't. They, you have everybody on Shaq. That fool was dunking on everyone. I was like, fuck yeah. Like, get that shit, Shaq. But they were like, you want some Shaq LA gears? Fuck no. <laughs> and it's sad, man. Because damn. Like, why why not why not wear the Shaq LA gear Shaqs? Hell nah. You know what those are gonna be the, the light shoes? Remember the, the, the LA gears used to have the lights in the back? I ain't trying to I ain't trying to fuck with the LA gears. Uh, I'm not I'm not I'm not a uh, uh I'm not I'm not doing it, man. Who would wear it? Let me see. I wanna see. Would anyone else wear? I'm I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put a a, a, a poll. Would you wear Shaq LA gears? I'm gonna see how many people and 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 be truthful. Be truthful. I, I don't. Uh, I want to see how many people would wear those Shaq LA gear shoes. Let me see here. What the fuck is that? Hundred percent of people said no. I'm telling you, no one would wear those shit. Dennis Robin was a shit. I'm not a big fan of Michael Jordan. Never wore Jordans in my life. Don't like the shoes. No disrespect, but everyone has them. So Air Max all day. I I have a pair of Jordans, but I I hardly wear them. Um, yeah, I rather wear I rather wear other pair of shoes. To tell you the truth, Timo, what up, G? Eight and twenty four. That's right, Kobe. Rest in peace. Uh, let me see here. Kareem, yeah, that shit was unstoppable. Gee, you went nobody was stopping Kareem. I was in West Valley County Jail when the Raiders lost that snow game. I want four noodles. Hell yeah. Iverson was the shit. Iverson was cool. Iverson was cool. It's it's fucked up though that uh they kind of did him dirty. Well, nobody wanted to play with him after. Phil Jackson is the reason behind those rings. I agree, G. I do. I think it was Phil Jackson was the chemistry of the team, and they just needed they needed that face of it. MJ was the face, and but by himself. And this is why I I, I think. And you guys could you know what I mean let me know if I'm wrong here, but Pippen made it to the conference finals without Jordan when Jordan left to go play baseball. Pippen went to the conference finals when he was with Portland. So he went to the conference finals twice, twice without MJ. But 
uh, it doesn't mean he's better than MJ. I'm just saying, like, MJ wasn't, like, what everyone made up to seem. Like, he's undeniably the GOAT, bro. Uh, no one could fuck with MJ. Like, people make it seem like, like he was the fucking greatest thing to ever happen to basketball. They're, they're, you got to remember in the 80s, like, everyone was all, like, in awe of the, of the, of the uh, uh, Magic Johnson and, and Larry Bird feud. That that's what kept that that's what really elevated, uh, that's what really elevated the NBA. Then after that, Jordan comes in, he could dunk and shit, and everybody's like, all of a sudden he's this fucking monster, and no one could stop him, and he never lost, and like that fool, he was in the, he wasn't in the league for six years. I'll tell you that he was not. He was he was in the league for longer than six years. So so just like everyone else, it, it's not easy to win a championship. Let me see here. Ninety percent of people said they wouldn't wear those. Uh, LA Gears Warrior fans Shoes are dirty Cause you know They barely got On that bus <laughs> I've seen you play hoop You ain't no Jordan <laughs> Oh let me see here uh, Where am I at I used to rock the Ben Wallace Star Starberry shoes Much less to The uh, Fucking uh, uh, those Starberry shoes. Hey, ho hey, homie was out there in China making a killing, dog. The Shaq boat shoe. <laughs> I used to rock the Ben Wallace Starberry uh, kicks. Mama less than 25 bucks back in the days. Have your words than fake Jordans look like uh, Fluffy dunking the ball. <laughs> Hell nah. I'd rather wear Cortez. I, I, I haven't sport Cortez since the, since the 90s, especially when I found out why they call him Cortez. I was like, hell nah, I, I ain't sporting those shits at all. Then we got to have a live about sports cricket. That would be down as fuck, G. I'm down, I'm down. Steve Kerr, uh, me the last shot. Well, what about him? Uh, yeah, Steve Kerr, he he wasn't great. He wasn't great, but he, I mean, he, was a good, he was a good role player. I remember as a kid when I first seen Vince Carter dunk, my head wanted to explode. Yeah, hey, he was fucking nasty with it, dog. Nasty with it. Jordan was a beast. They took time to put uh, the players in place. Football and basketball cards. This is a Lakers fan talking. I Yeah, I am a Lakers fan, G. I am. I think Kareem was greater than Jordan. I, I'll i say it. That that's And even Kobe. Kobe was better than Jordan. Uh, let me see here. San Jose Sharks all day. MJ with no Pippen. And Zen Master would have never won three chips, not even one. I agree, G, 100%. I agree with that. I I, I agree with that. And, and it's no disrespect to the to the Bulls. Like, much love to the Bulls, but that was a team. That was a team that did that shit. Jordan could not do that on his own. You know, uh, with, without Jordan, uh, they still went to the conference finals. Cowboys fans wore Hakeem the Dream Kmart shoes. Damn. Vince Carter was a beast. Yes, he was. Uncle Jess. Mailman Javier. Uncle Jess, why are you putting my shit out there? I, I you know, I'll put it out there. I, yeah, I, I I did apply for a, 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 uh, what is it? Mail carrier. Ma mail carrier position. So I'm hoping to get that. Hopefully I can uh, work for the post office and be a public servant. Uh, kind of like the president. Kind of, kind of like that. Public servant. Uh, Norm Nixon, Jamal Wilkes. Don't forget James Worthy. Big game? What? Hold on. My wife's texting me. Let me see here. Oh, yeah. I seen that earlier. MJ wanted to play his game, his game his way, but the upper echelon said no way. So MJ said, fine. I quit. Damn. Damn. That was fucked up. I don't, I don't know what happened there, G, but yeah, that's some, that's some crazy shit. Steve Kerr was deadly with that shot. Colorado all day. Let me see here. Best basketball player ever gets no credit. Larry Johnson, a.k.a. <laughs> uh, Uncle, uh, uh, what was his name? Uh, Uncle, uh, uh, what? I forgot his name. Uncle Drew. I seen that shit. I seen that shit in the movie. I actually liked that movie. That was a pretty good movie. I took my son to see it in theaters. When I was a kid, right? 
when I was a kid, I remember I had great. Okay, I'm gonna tell you, great commercials, great commercials can can really work. They can work. I remember when I was a kid. Um, I was watching TV, and then it was a, it was a funny ass commercial. Funny ass commercial. It was some kid lacing up his shoes on the basketball court because he see he seen Grant Hill, Grant Hill on the basketball court, fucking it up. Boom, 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 right? And and he and he was doing his thing, and he drinks some Sprite, and the little kid was like, Grant Hill drinks Sprite, Grant Hill drinks Sprite, and he goes up there to dunk and fucking eat shit, nasty. And I thought that shit was hilarious. So because of that, I said, you know what? I'm gonna drink Sprite. And that shit was uh, I, I actually uh, would buy Sprite a lot after that. So that that was good adver- advertisement. Uh, let me see here. P Nava, saludos. My mom made me wear LA gear. Ain't nothing wrong with LA gear. Eighty six percent of people on the chat said they wouldn't sport the LA gear. At least the Shack ones. You know, as a kid, I would wear whatever my mom made me wear. Like, you can't do anything, right? But as an adult, I don't know why I, I'm like that. Because I'm usually not materialistic when it comes to a lot of things. When it comes to a lot of things, uh, I'm not materialistic. But when it comes to shoes, I don't know why. I have to have a specific kind of shoe. He played grandma on the Urkel show. By the way, Urkel looked like Jordan and that. <laughs> They always be doing that shit like random fools just go on the court and could just ball all of a sudden. Like that shit don't happen in real life. You know who can't ball? I don't know if he's still there, but James. Uncle Jess plays like a fucking football player. I'm like, dog, we're playing basketball. Like, chill the fuck out. He's like, nah, bro, you can't, you can't guard me, bro. And he's like fucking tackling like, dog, we're not playing football. Chill out, man. Yeah, Uncle Jess can't play for shit. How are you? What are you going to dress up for Halloween? Arr, matey. I'm going to dress up like a pirate, matey. It is finally my day to make me pirate. Uh, make me pirate's debut. Arr. Yeah, I'm going to be a pirate, G. I, 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 the, my mind is set. The, the kids, they're like, Dad, we want to we wanna do a, a group family thing. And I was like, look, I always try to do what you guys do, and you guys always change it last minute. Uh, and if we want to do a group one this time, we can definitely do a group one, but it's going to be pirates. We're all going to be pirates, and I'm going to be the captain. Arr. So it's up, it's up to you guys, wh- whatever you, you want to do, right? So, But for me, I'm going to be I'm gonna be a pirate. Man, I rocked those L.A. gear street hikers back in 89.90. Joe Montana had everyone wearing those. I remember, do you guys remember when, the, uh, uh, when, when they had the L.A. gears with the lights in the back? I remember a lot of kids, I'm not going to lie, a lot of kids went to school with those shits. And they were walk running around, and some of them thought they were cool. Like, I got my LA gears. <laughs> it's like, shut the fuck up, man. Like, I don't need no lights in my shoes. Honestly, I was hating. I was hating because I, uh, my mom didn't want to get them for me. <laughs> so <laughs> after that, I was like, man, fuck LA gear. I'm not wearing no shits. But uh, I, I did want them. I, I did want them uh, in, in the beginning. I wanted the the LA gears with the lights, but uh. No, nobody. Uh, my mom didn't get it for me, and after that, anyone who wore them to me, they were suckers. Like, ah, man, those shoes are whack, homie. I don't want those shit. Low key, I wanted them. I wanted them really bad. <laughs> but that's what happened. No, they were funky. Then uh, a Chargers jersey. I thought I was cool. <laughs> my mom bought me LA gears as a child too. I wouldn't hate them because when uh, playing hide and go seek at night. The lights will go on. Oh, that would fucking suck, G. You're in the bushes trying to hide, and they just look. Oh, shit. There he is. There he is. That shit would suck like a motherfucker, man. Let me see here. I don't think they even make LA gears anymore. Man, the swap me three for 20. She tried. Uh, Price is hell of a uh, baller. I heard from Dave Chappelle. He wants to pan. Oh, Prince. Yeah, yeah, that's true though. That's true. Pretty cool, Avi. That was me till I fought him off. Leaving the fan bang hanging to be a part. <laughs> nah, gee, look it. Let me tell you. I'll dress up. I'll dress up. And and, and last time, everybody, it's because okay, I have a, a 
like my mind, my mind gets stuck on something, right? So if everyone, if everyone, uh, they told me one year, let's be Batman characters. And I was like, fuck yeah, let's do it. And, and, uh, I dressed up as the penguin and nobody else did it. I think just Rosie did it. She dressed up like the scarecrow, but the kids didn't do it. They left us on the hang. And I was like, what the fuck? You guys were the ones that told us this shit. So, so that's why it's like, nah, like I'll dress up. I'm, I, I got my mind made up. I'm going to be a pirate. I'm going to be a pirate. We're not going to have last time, you know, I, I'm not going to dress up as, as I'm not going to agree to dress up as something. Get my mind set on it. Cause my mind gets set. And when it gets set, like I, I'm done, like, fuck no, I'm going to be a pirate. That's it. That's it. And, uh, uh so I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to do that again. I'm not going to do that. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be a pirate no matter what. No one's going to stop the pirate, matey. Arr. Fernie Fern, what up, G? Remember Poe Wings? I do remember Poe uh, Pro Wings. Rosie, uh, let me know. Did, when Did you ever have those LA gear shoes that light up? I think you were too... Yeah, yeah I don't think they came out when when, uh, when you were uh, young. I think they died off in the 90s, right? Imagine the tree lights flickering. I found them. That's what I'm saying. Like you, That shit would suck. That shit would fucking suck. You're hiding... And and you're trying to get away, and and they just look and they see your shoes shining. Like man, that shit's a sick burn. You probably and then you can't take your shoes off because your head will probably be. What the fuck happened to your socks? What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, let me see here. I never owned a pair. James is going getting sad over here. I'm gonna talk to James. See if he ever had these. Let's call James. Uncle Jess, I'm gonna give you a call. Let's call James. Let's see if he answers. Hello, my brown brother. Sorry, no tortilla. Uncle Jess, you're live. <laughs> Oh shit! I mean, uh, hey, hey, good friend. Uncle oh, Jess, did you ever wear those LA gear shoes? That, that, that. Uh... Oh, Rosie says she doesn't even know what they are. I used to wear. I, I wear LA gear shoes when we used to live in LA. The ones that with okay, the lights. Okay. Yeah. Once you came this way, I never wore them again. Damn, that's they crazy. Wear white shoes. Yeah, yeah. Uh... Man, I think I have a fucking picture of me with some LA gears on. For real? Did you ever wear the shacks? The alley gear shacks? Hell no. I'd never be caught dead in those shack shoes. Why? Because they were fucking, like, just terrible. They look weird. Even when people wore them at school. People wore those? I've never seen anyone wear those. Now, I remember I remember in high school, I used to go to, because I went to school to Hollywood High. And I remember they used to clown on people that had anything that was, uh, uh they called it Target clothes. Yeah. It wasn't FUBU. It was what was it called? It was it wasn't Sean John. It was something. It was like an off brand. And I remember people saying that it was a fucking Target clothes. I was like, that's fucked up. Or like British Knights. Yeah, British Knights. Like people rocking British Knights. They used to call them Burger King shoes. <laughs> that's, that's fucked up. <laughs> and I've seen that shit too. Who's are like, these are some British Knights, homeboy. And I was like, oh, there's some Burger King shoes. <laughs> <laughs> and they had the big PK on it. Got some motherfucking cheeseburgers on your feet. Get those shits out of here. <laughs> no, but for real, who's are like, these are British Knights, homeboy. They're like, the Burger King shoes, done. Get those motherfucking cheeseburgers <laughs> with no tomatoes out of here. <laughs> Get them bread loaves out of here, fool. <laughs> Oh man, that shoes are that shoes are fucking funny. You used to wear those. Uh, what? The, uh, nah, I never, I never wore British Knights. I bought some K Swiss. I've never. I wore K Swiss when I got out. When I got out, when I, I did wear, I did wear. Uh, this is a true story. This is this is fucked up too. Uh, I I think I told the story before. I used to live on Garvey, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah, I I used to live on Garvey. It was a fucked up street to live on, especially as especially for for a kid. A lot of prostitutes and, and pimps and shit. 
So one day my mom bought me shoes. A lot of prostitutes and the kids. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. A lot of prostitutes and pimps. Prostitutes, pimps, drug drug addicts. Garvey was just like a gang of hotels, a gang of fucked up shit, right? So yeah. my mom went to Target and got, got I think she got this layaway. And, and she got me some pair a pair of shoes. And I was like, oh fuck. Like I didn't want to be like, mom, I don't want these shoes. Cause I, I knew my mom was struggling. Like my, my pops had just went to the joint. So I was like I'll get these shoes. Like fuck it, I'm gonna get these, right? And they were sh- they were shoes called Brooks. They were they were uh, tennis shoes, like for tennis. And, and oh, they're even more expensive, aren't they? No, they were at Target though for cheap. And, and I got them. Oh. I was like, okay, cool, like Brooks. Yeah, and, Brooks came a long way, Uncle Jess. Those shoes are expensive now. Oh, for reals? Mhm. I've been setting trends since back then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, settle down. No, so I, I had these shoes called Brooks, right? Yes. And uh, so I went to work And I'm not work I went to school And they were like Brooks More like hooks Because you, those are Because those, you live on Garvey Those are hooker shoes And everyone like In the fifth grade Used to call me hooker shoes That's fucked up <laughs> and, and, okay, There was a guy his name, uh, He had a, a pair of boots Called uh, Honchos they were supposed to be like like the like the Tims, right? Yeah. They they were called honchos, and everybody said those aren't honchos, those are ponchos. So they called him Poncho Boots and me Hooker Shoes. And it was fucked up, Uncle Jess. Like, you got clown. Uncle Jess. Yeah. Uncle Jess. I remember one time I came I came up with these brand new boots, right? Yeah. And people had Tims on, like people rocking Tims back then. And I had a friend of mine who ran up on me, like just ran up, like out of nowhere. I was like, "What the fuck you doing, dude?" And he grabs my pants and he pulls them up. He goes, "I knew those weren't Tim's." <laughs> and I was like, "What the fuck?" And he goes, "And you have them laced up." I was like, "Well, I don't get it." Yeah. And he goes, "You're not cool." <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, at that time, I think it was like in ninth grade. At that time, people were rocking Tim's with the laces out. Yeah, yeah. Like on some New York shit, right? Yeah. And I was wearing sketcher boots with the laces up. So to me, I was like, man, I just had boots on. Yeah, and yeah. It, it, like, nope, you're a fucking loser. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Like, you don't even know what they are, huh? Like, yeah, we heard of Timberlands until, until that day. Yeah, I remember. I remember thinking like, this is another fucking reason I hate coming to the school all the way over here. <laughs> that's fucked I'm up. Dead. I used to go to school over there and live in Monte. Ah oh, hell, that's that just sucks. Why would you just yeah. go to school in Monte? Because uh, when when I went to Crans, that's right, I went to Crans. Yeah. I fucking uh, I was failing. Yeah. I like like I had to go to summer school just to pass eighth grade, right? So ninth grade, my mom had friends in LA because she worked out there, and her friends were the administrators in the magnet program. Yeah. So if it wasn't bad enough, it was just I had to struggle just to fucking make it out of eighth grade, and she thought, "Ooh, we'll put you with the gifted kids." <laughs> and I That's fucking I rebelled like badly. I was like, "All right, then fuck it, you know what I mean? This what's gonna be." And I'll never forget the day we were sitting there. She's like, oh, your report card came. And I was like, all right, business time. I was like, yes, I was the only person I ever seen with an F in every subject. Damn. And my mom was like, what the fuck? How do you even, like, she was even surprised. Like, how the fuck do you even get F all the way across? And I go, I'm either missing or fuck that class. And I'll just fuck around until they get rid of me. Oh, yeah. And she was like... She was like, why, why, you could you get a great education. I go, I fucking told you I didn't want to go over there. You make me go to a downtown, like, Hollywood. You know, you know what's kind of sad, too, though? Every day. You know what's kind of sad is she probably busted her ass to get you out there, too. But you're like a little kid, so you don't realize, like, the sacrifices no, she I'll made. Guess. But that's, that's the thing, though. She did make sacrifice, right? Yeah. But it wasn't for me. It was just more convenient for me to go over there because that's where the babysitter's daughters went. Oh, all right, all right. So I was like, oh, cool. I'll just drop you off over here. You roll with them, and then I'll pick you up after. It's like, well, I don't want to fucking go all the way. Oh, just, I just got the Kran. Yeah. Do you have any idea what it's like to get the Kran? Kran's? I never went to Kran's. I went to Patrol. I'm just, I've never seen so many brown people in my life. 
Yeah, that's what Patrol was. Really started fucking. Really started to get with like, like the way Monte was. I was like, cool. This is this. I like this place. I like this town. I like living here. Like all of it. And she's like, all right. Well, you're going to Hollywood. Holly. You dropped out of Hollywood High to walk around Hollywood High. No, but I would walk around Hollywood, and then my mom was like, "What the fuck you doing here?" I was like, "What's the point of coming here?" Okay, just, just like I'm one of these dancers. Uh, Oliver said that Brooks are high end in Europe and Asia. I didn't know that. Okay, just they're high end here. For real? I, 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 I was sporting those shits as a kid. Nah, I, I was. I swear. REI. Maybe, I, maybe I was supposed to be a tennis star, low key. Looks like we're the only nah, you got messed up, uh, mismatched legs. That, that that would help me out. I could guess. Did you tell him that? <laughs> did you tell him that we went to go see your brother at that art exhibit, and that I that you were like, oh yeah, I have two different sized legs, and I got scoliosis. Yeah. And then he just started dancing like I do too. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, my brother can be. He's a fool, man. Well, could you? Yeah. When you have family like that, <laughs> you know what I mean? You got, you got to start to take a joke. You have to. And then and growing up in Monte, too, like you said, they'll, they'll clown you for anything. I don't think sketches were out when I was in school. Have you used to sport them in the rain boots? That's just fucking funny. Like, it reminded me of your dad right away. Huh? Yeah. It just reminded me of that. Like, I knew. I know that's the exact thing your dad would do, just to clown the shit out of you. Yeah, we were clowning. We still clown right now. Use the babysitter's <laughs> address. You guys sound the same when we talk. Me and James sound the same? Interesting. In what way? Like, we're sexy or what? I don't, Uncle Chaz, I don't know. I think I sound I don't know. Up. I don't know what people think. Real question 2020. Who has Crocs? All right. Who, Uncle Jess, do you wear Crocs or will you ever wear Crocs? Uh, no. As a matter of fact, I used to think that Crocs were the same thing as the la- lacrosse shirt. Nah. I used to be like, oh, I used to wear Crocs when I was a kid. Rosie wants a pair. You know, but you know what I'm talking about? Nah. The, the, the what? The lacrosse, the lacrosse shirt. The, it's the one with the little alligator. Yeah, yeah. Uncle Jess, I thought that's what they meant by like Crocs. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, I used to wear those as a kid. You know, you know what's a trip is is when when I was a kid, right? Oh. I didn't know, cause uh, my mom used to get, cause we were poor growing up. We were poor, right? Yeah. And we didn't have the uh, uh, the the alligators. We had the tigers on them. And and, oh. and we used to call them the the tiger shirts. Right. Yeah. So we called them the tiger shirts, and I remember one time. They're like, oh, I see you guys wearing those shirts. So I got you guys these ones, like one of our uncles or something, right? And they got us the the alligator shirts. And I was like, and I was like, I don't want these. These are fake. Because <laughs> I was, I didn't know any better. I was used to wearing the tiger shirts. We even called them tiger shirts. It's like, why am I gonna wear this alligator now? Like, what the fuck? Uncle Jess, I remember my mom, we hit a point where she had to fucking buy me, uh, like, clothes from this place called Paredes. Yeah. Palas, Paredes, and shit like that. Uncle Jess, tell me it didn't rain, and my socks and shoes turned blue. Did, did what happen? Tell me it didn't rain one day, and my socks and shoes both turned blue from the pants. Damn. I was like, oh, what the fuck? And then I was like, what happened? Then, it, like, two years later, I was like, I was watching the episode of, like, The Simpsons. And The Simpsons, they get fucking, like, uh, I guess the, the material's cheap. Yeah. So they, they dye the clothes in, like, real shitty ways. So that when it rains, it just, like, fucking changes color. To this. And everybody's tripping the fuck out. And I remember thinking... God damn it, that's probably what happened to me. My socks were blue, like all the dye came off the pants. <laughs> uh, me too, cause, cause that makes you look poor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. your shoes melting and shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's fucked up because fools will fucking clown you too. Like, because yeah, it's like, oh shit, it's fucking Smurf socks. <laughs> Smurf socks. Fucking one time. And James got the melting shoes. What the fuck? <laughs> Uh, At least they got Burger King shoes. <laughs> 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 
Jimo says, uh, we were poor. I wore football cleats to elementary school before Ooh. because that was the newest name brand, a pair of Nike shoes or, or shoes they had. had. So he wore cleats. <laughs> he wore cleats hey, so he could have name brand shoes. Damn. Did you at least take the spikes off? Oh, yeah. Did you? How did that work with the spikes? Gee, did you, did you just walk in spikes all day? <laughs> yeah, that was all terrain. <laughs> no, you know what? I remember one time we had a neighbor, and my neighbor's name was Alan, right? Yeah. And Alan's mom worked at the Jack in the Box. And I used to love going to Alan's house in the morning. Because the mom would steal the hash browns, <laughs> and she would make us hash browns in the morning. <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> I, but I used, I used to think it was gangster. Like hell yeah, we get fucking Jack in the Box hash browns for free, homie. That's how we do. Hey, was she like uh, was she like fucking what's his name uh uh, Whack Arnold? What was his name? You smell like French fries. <laughs> no, what was his name though? I, uh, I, nobody gets whack Arnold's unless it's through me. Dad, I forgot, oh, I forgot his name. I forgot his name too. You're, you're cut off, yeah. Uh, let you're me cut see. off. I'm whack Arnold's around here. Uh, Timo says that. No, it was Timo. Where was that that thing at? Uh, let me see here. Somebody said that uh, uh that he had to act like he was that he liked sports to wear those shits all day. <laughs> Be like, hey, nice soccer shoes, asshole. We're inside. What? Says, uh, my coach bought me those Nike cleats. They were fresh to death, and I wore them to school. Hey, that's all. That's all you gotta fucking. You gotta do it sometimes like that. <laughs> yeah, until you're walking down the fucking hallway and you hear click, 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 click. <laughs> no, but you'll just. What I would do if if I were in that position, right? Let's say you don't want to wear you don't want to wear these cheap uh, uh, cheap shoes and, and you want to wear the cleats. What I would do? Remember remember Ricky from uh, uh Ricky from uh, Bl- uh Boys in the Hood? Yeah. How we always walked around the football? I would just do that. Like fuck yeah, I'm I'm gonna go to USC one day, and just like when I had enough money, be like fuck football. Yeah, I'm not playing anymore. Now I know it's gonna be hard to turn against your parents. Nah, was that one day? You don't guy? <laughs> he said he wore cleats with his dickies. Can't find out Damn. Oh. Hey, that fucking sat down a Damn, lot. Huh? That, hey, <laughs> struggle was real. I go, Jess, you think they fucking ran? They would run from him? I <laughs> nah. like, don't. No, catch that. Stay on the concrete. If you get to the grass, I thought they were going to catch you. <laughs> he says they were making, they were making noise in the hallway. <laughs> Yeah, you hear the clink, clink, clink from the fucking clink. Look at Jazz, I'm telling you, they're running from that food. He's like, just don't go to the grass. And then they go to the grass. I got to turn this to a cheetah. Hold on, I got I to gotta go. In, uh, I'll call you back. I got to go in real quick. Rosie says, come inside. I smell fire, but I can't see anything. I'll, I'll, I'll call oh, you back. Shit, you got to go. All right, peace. I'll be back.
All right, I'm back. I'm back. Uh, it was a. Uh, uh, I think somebody burned like uh, in the microwave or something, but I didn't. I didn't see anything. Uh, let me see here. Uncle Jess, you still there? Are oh, you hung up? Uh. All right, it's cool. Let's see here. When I was Dick, I was Dicky Polo Cortez. Felt comfortable. Yeah, that's that's how I used to do it. Ricky. Oh, where? Yeah, everything's all. Everything's fine. Everything. Better go check. Uh, on your lady in the pad. I did, yeah. I, ch I checked it out. I checked it out. G. Smoke detectors. Everything's good. Everything's good. There was a fire earlier. Uh, and I was on my way to uh, I was on my way to the children's hospital, and there was a fire. Uh, there was a fire, and fucking uh, I wanted to go check out. I think it was in Alhambra, but we had we were running late, so we we didn't do it. But I still got beat up for wearing cleats from playlists. Oh, that's fucked up, dog. Kids are real, kids are fucked up, man. Kids can be real fucked up. Uh, let me see here. Damn for the whole list, bird. It smells like it smells like 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 some something in the in the in the microwave maybe. Cricket to the rescue. <laughs> Is there wilderness? Not not maybe about like seven miles away, but not nah, not right here. That it, it does smell like like maybe a tortilla or something in the microwave or something like that. But now nah, I looked, nothing was there. His phone died since he didn't charge it again. Yeah, that sounds like James. Tortilla smell your house. I, I think it did smell like tortilla, low key. This weather ain't helping. Brandy Manteca, cleats noise in the hallway. Hey, it is what it is though, right? I was bullied in Langdon Elementary, but my brother stuck up for me. That's what's up. Now I'm with Aslana. Maybe like shorts. I get uh I get bullied now for how I dress though by by Rosie and the kids, so uh <laughs> yeah back then I I did when I was a kid in in elementary like I said we got clowned for everything for everything like I said I used to live on Garvey so that was the that was the huge huge thing that they would clown me for for living on Garvey uh I had a girlfriend her name was uh Luz Luzarelli uh and they used to say her name was Luz. Like not loose, like loose. They're like, ah, oh, where'd you meet loose at? On Garvey? And they would tell me, on Garvey, on Garvey. <laughs> Kids are fucking assholes, man. They were fucking assholes. Uh, but it is what it is. You you just had to uh you just had to uh, uh go with it and, and clown them whenever the whenever the chance came. Just get your fucking clown on. Should we call James back? Dog, what building in what building in Nellis that's still standing seen another video? I think the church, the church is still standing. And I'm going to, uh, somebody said something earlier about the homies in, in YA, uh, doing like, doing something like, nah, that shit didn't happen, G. You seen cats getting, like, I, I did see cats getting taken advantage of, but, but I, Homies like nah nah. It, this is what happens. With some sometimes people will will will, will just kind of uh, uh say something to to smear people for. I don't know why. I, I don't know why at all. But uh that yeah that never happened. G that that wouldn't that, that would not happen. Uh backup cricket check out. Yeah yeah I did I, I did G and, and uh, uh yeah that that wouldn't nah when when I was there fuck no no if anything like that happened you would be you'd be leva like automatically. Uh, like you get dropped so quick like that that that's not that 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 wouldn't that would not happen g like that would not happen and and even like let's say okay hypothetically let's say that did happen and 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 they were like oh well we're gonna let people program like that and they're gonna throw fucks and whatever so it's like if that were to happen to you then everybody there would let just let that ride and like this fool's still gonna touch the microwave and turn off the TV and, and 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 throw fucks and all that. Like nah, G. Like I don't think people understand. Like, like, like that 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 wouldn't roll. People would be like, man, it doesn't matter if you're if you're feed marasa, respect the black or or whatever. If somebody knew you had something like that on you, that they, they would get on you. Like they're not gonna if you, if they see you trying to touch the microwave or the TV, they're gonna be like, wait, oh, hold up, homie. Like, like, come here. Who the what the fuck? I ever I heard about you, dog. You ain't touching that shit. Like, you, you wouldn't have no respect like that. So, uh, yeah, I just think it's a it's a way for people to to like run run a smear campaign. I remember always last day of pads, the JV would go against varsity. Some fools would get fucked up. Also, the opportunity to make a name for yourself. 
Why did they call her Luz? Her name wasn't Luz. It was L- Luz, like 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 light, like Luzarelli. Her name was Luzarelli, but they called. But you know, kids are assholes. Rosie burning my shoes. <laughs> oh, I better go check, low key. Dude, I used to I used the oven a year ago and never understood why so much smoke. Later realized I left the cord. Oh fuck! Damn. Damn. That is fuck. That's crazy. Damn. Happy I never got bullied though. I just uh, crowned clown. That's a difference. Yeah, I think that's how it was for 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 all of us. Like as kids, you get you get you clown. You just clown. Fuck it. My kids were just nervous, but I didn't. Yeah, now it looked like it, it smelled like it came from the kitchen. But when I was leaving back out here, it smelled like it was dying down already. Yeah, I would always have a big smile when I clown. You you have to as a kid, especially as a kid. You you can't you can't be getting clowned and be sad. Uh you gotta clown back. You gotta clown back when whenever whenever you get the opportunity. Uh what what did I eat? I don't even remember what I ate. I did eat. I forgot though. I'm pretty sure it was good. Yeah, I just addressed that right now, Gene. And uh, I, I don't know. You know, I I I never I I never ever watched it, but I could just say. That's not how things worked when in YA at all. I was in five different YAs. I'm telling you. Yeah, no, it didn't. It didn't. It didn't. It didn't happen like that at all. Have you were you ever in LP? I was there in '92. Met a few. Yes. Uh, I had to go to LP before. My bad. I had to go to LP before. Uh, um. Before I went anywhere else, so LP was the first place we'd go to before I went to uh, YA and everything. Uh. Uh, so, so, uh, yeah, I, I definitely, I went to LP a few times. Uh, let me see here. Got a clown back. You always got a clown back. Uh, you always got a clown back. Like you can't, you can't go out there. If people are clowning you, you can't just be quiet and be sad. Like you have to get them back and you look for something. You look for something and you're always you're always like, huh, huh. I, I was like that. I was waiting for an opportunity. I was waiting for an opportunity. So if some, because they would clown me. Tell you, they called me hooker shoes. And they were like, on Garvey, on Garvey. So, uh, all right, Rosie, I'll be, I'll be in a little bit. I'll be in there a little bit, baby. Uh, yeah, so uh, like they would clown the fuck out of me. So I would wait. I would wait. And if somebody wore like, like one time one of the homies, he he wore a uh, he wore some uh, uh, some jeans, some boots, like some so like some off brand Tims, uh, and and a fucking uh, and a and a Pendleton, but the Pendleton was kind of tight. But we I, I knew he was trying to look like a G, right? And he was the homie. Like I, I I had a gang of love for that fool. But you know what it is? This motherfucker called me hooker shoes and shit, right? So I was like, man, look at this fool fucking coming to school looking like a lumberjack and shit. And everybody started laughing, like, oh, shit, this fool looks, he does look like a lumberjack. So we just started clowning him and shit. Because, you know, when you're you're a kid, you try to to make the best out of what you have. So your parents, they're, they're dressing you. So you're trying to put it together in a way that you think is going to be gangster and shit. But you come off looking like a lumberjack. And fucking, uh, and, and yeah, so, so you just got to, you got to, you got to get on them when, when you could. And, and hopes that shit stick so they don't come back to you. And then shit, when it does come back to you, be ready. Be ready. Man, in Juvie, the girl it jumped me. I had uh, Manzanas for the last name. I said maybe I'll name my first daughter that. <laughs> Hooker shoes. I'm telling kids are bad, man. You heard about Tommy Payaso? From Seattle, making tracks, doing his thing. I, I, I haven't heard of that. I have not heard of that. And your opinion was YA a failure, or did you learn your lesson? YA was definitely a failure. Uh, I've even, I've actually made, some of the first videos I made were being very critical of the YA administration and, and the way things were ran. YA was a place where abuse was rampant. Uh, it was a place that had high recidivism rate, highest in the nation. 
uh, by the time I left YA, nine out of every ten kids that went to YA reoffended. That's ninety percent. Imagine that ninety percent. Five percent ended up dead. Like fuck, that shit's that shit's crazy, man. So, uh, so for me, yeah, like it, it was a, a huge, huge failure. Um, I was lucky enough to to read a book that changed my insight. The only thing that I can say that that sticks with me to this day that YA gave us, and to this day I still think about it, was victims awareness. Gang class was bullshit. Drug class was bullshit. I don't remember any of that shit. I don't remember any of that shit. A- any of the treatment they gave us was all fucking bullshit. All of it. Like, none of that shit was, did us any, any good. The only thing I do remember, though, was victim's awareness. That, that shit did get me thinking uh, in a way. Uh, when, I, when I heard other victims, I remember, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a class. I'm going to make a, 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 a train track Thursday about that. Because I do have an interesting story about that. And how ignorant I was back then and how much I've changed. But, but yeah, so victim's awareness was the only thing. And there was one staff member I remember who, who really tried to do something. His name was Jack when I was on Tyler. Uh, he was the only one that, that tried to do something to, to, to prepare us for getting out, uh, beyond just get just a lot of caseloads. They would try to, if you were, if you were, if they, if they were trying to get you to parole, a lot of the times it was just so you behaved and they could get you out of there. So they try to prepare you to get out. But the only one I, I remember that prepared, tried to prepare me for life beyond YA was Jack. So, so to me, uh, it, it was a huge, huge fucking failure. Uh, let me see. Everything BS. That's why I said F it and told the board, F you, max me out, YTS. The four agreements. Exactly, G. If I, if, if I didn't read the four agreements, I don't know where, where I would be right now. I was in Nixon lockup when I read that book. And it changed my mind. Like, it, it made me think. Before that, I don't know where the fuck. I, I, I like if it wasn't for that, I don't know where I'd be because I was in Nixon. I was like, I'm gonna go fuck. I'm gonna do a program, uh, go back to the line, come back one more time, go to YTS and max the fuck out. Uh, I would have got out when I was 25, so I wouldn't have uh, got with Rosie. I wouldn't have my kids. I wouldn't have anything. So everything worked out the way it was supposed to. Um, so fucking uh, uh but yeah, um, it, it was a huge failure, G. I, I know so many homies, so many homies that are doing all day right now that were in YA. So many homies that passed away right now. That it, so just because like I was able, I was fortunate enough to, uh, just because I was fortunate enough to uh, to make it out with like doesn't mean that others were. So so I, I see it as a huge, huge fucking failure. Uh, let me see here. Never will be having a uh, grave buster on. I remember you. Always, I wanted. I always wanted to, and I, and no one has ever. Uh, no one has ever stepped up and, and said that they'd be down to. I, I definitely would want to have a grave buster on. I wouldn't even. I, if they wanted to just make it a phone call, I would do that. But it's up. It's up to them. It's whoever wants to tell their story. Uh, I I reached out to my homies that were grave busters, and they are like, nah, that was another time in my life, and and, and I'm done. Like. I don't want to revisit it and I can't, I can't force them to, to tell their story. It's their story to tell. Right. So, uh, but when, when the time's right and somebody comes along, I'll I'll definitely, I'll definitely, uh, be down to do that. The four agreement was the best book ever. It really helped me. It changed, it changed everything for me. It changed everything for me. Like I said, if I didn't read that book, like I, I thought I was at the right place. I really thought that this is where I belong. I know where I'm headed. Like, I, I, I'm on the right track. Right? That's the way I was thinking. If it weren't for that book, I would have never got out. The, when I got out, I would have never met Rosie. I would have never had my kids. I would have never experienced the life that that that, uh, uh, that I was able to experience. So, yeah, I, I, I definitely... I definitely... Uh, uh, I, I'm grateful and appreciative for, for that book. Should I read that book if I haven't? I I would I would say so. I it, it, I'm telling you, I can't say what anyone else like what they think or or how it worked for them, 
But that's that's what happened for me. It, 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 that book really did help a lot, a lot. And uh, I we actually did a a, bu- a book club on it. It was the first the first book in the book club. Southside Grave Busters, Los Cowboys Click. I wonder where my homies were from. I know uh, they had different names and shit uh, on there. They had the cloud, the Cowboys, the Eagle Warriors. What was it? The Eagle Knights, the Jaguar Knights. I forgot. Fuck, I forgot. I, I remember there was a, a few, a few different uh, clicks from the from the from the GBs. My uncle, uh, uncle is still my. Oh yeah, yeah. So I'm not. I'm not. Yeah. I I wonder. I I, I didn't. I didn't. Uh. By the time I got to YTS, the GBs were already like they're already gone, but a few of them were still there, but they didn't uh, they weren't fucking with it anymore. So uh, so yeah, so uh, I I didn't really get to, but I know I had a few homies, a few homies who who were GBs, and who were who were doing their thing. I was bunked up with one of them. Let me move this out of here. Let's see. But yeah, that was a while, a long time. That got me thinking like, damn, it's a trip. How one thing in life. They call me lunatic from GBs. <clears throat> Javi, do you have to get jumped in to be on Traviesos? Nah, hell nah. Just kidding. Looking forward to the next episode. I was working on it today. I did the first scene. I'm going to do the rest of it tomorrow. Um, I had a, uh, it was a fucking headache today. <laughs> I get frustrated so fucking quick. I was working on it, right? I couldn't do it. I fucking deleted the entire cam- uh, program. Like, fuck this, I'm done. I deleted everything. And uh, uh, and I fucking uh, uh, reinstalled it. And I found that I was just, it was just a user, inter- it, was a, it was a user error. So fucking, uh, uh, yeah, I was like, damn, I did all that for nothing. Wasted a gang of time. But it's cool. I, I know what I'm doing now, and I'll get that shit tomorrow. Uh, let me see here. Gmo, hop off for an interview. I'm telling you, anyone down for an interview, let me know. It was over in two. Th- yeah, I got there in late 2002. I was in Preston, uh, in Ponderosa. That didn't work out, so they sent me to YTS. Because uh, they wanted to send me to, to DeWitt. They wanted to send me to DeWitt. But I was like, fuck that, man. Like... I, I don't know. I, I didn't feel comfortable in programming institutions, cause they were like, you go to Ventura, you could go to Dewitt. They they wanted to go to they wanted me to go to Dewitt though, cause I was already up there, and uh, there weren't a lot of people in in Dewitt, so they're like, let let's get you over to Dewitt. You you're 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 uh you're a graduate, uh you fucking you know you have work experience, and I was like, man, fuck that shit. Like I, I'm out of here in like nine months. Send me to YTS. Uh, I, I had a gang of homies in YTS. I was like, fuck it. Uh, I might as well. I might as well uh, chill with the homies before I get out. And uh, because I was like, fuck it, I'm going to get out. I'm going to chill. You're like, I'm not going to. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be. I'm going to be laying low when I get out. So I figured I figured I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to chill. And I. Yeah, I was able to meet up with a gang of homies at YTS low key. And, and uh, it was cool. It was cool. I bunked up with one of the homies. We we were we were we were bunkies and uh, before he maxed out, uh, got to chop it up and met a gang of solid cats there. Jaguar Knights, yeah, I remember the, hearing about the Jaguar Knights. Homies wanted to get tight. Remember, homie said that shit. I I forgot which click it was, but uh, in order for you to join that click, you had to get tight. And I was like, how was that tripping out? Like, damn, fuckers are wild, man. Those are some crazy times of why. Yeah, people were wild, dog, for real. I would trip out. Like, man, these these motherfuckers are are crazy. These people are crazy. A bunch of us up north and Chad before they kicked uh kicked us out. We had to click up there the TGs. Oh, the the GBs were up there too. I didn't know that. Interesting. I didn't know that at all. I was in M and N. I was in W next. I was in W next G. It was me and uh, uh my homie Bobby. Me and Bobby were in W next downstairs. I think we had a lot of homies downstairs. Homie Muppet was right there. Uh, Stabs. Muppet, Stabs. Baby Chucky was down there. I think Smokey was down there too. Smokey had came down from the joint. 
Yeah, gang, gang, that shit was cool, man. Uh, well, not cool. Like, oh, yeah. I'm just like, like, we made the best out of it, is what I'm saying. And there's Josie, not Josie. <laughs> uh, now, you don't got to get jumped in and be in traviesos. You don't have to. What is up, security? Got to wake up at 5 a.m. for holiday. Damn. Put question that good vibes. Appreciate that, Chito. You have a good one, my boy. Much love, G. I think I'm, I'm gonna wrap it up too. I think I'm gonna wrap it up too. Uh, but if anyone wants to interview, if there's if there are any GBs on the line who want to interview and we can break it down what what exactly it was, I know things changed. Uh, everybody's living living different lives. But if you if you want to tell your story and, and show measure that change, because a lot of us uh, have made drastic changes in their lives, and for me, I always like to to highlight that and show those drastic changes. So if anyone wants to uh, go on and tell their story, not even just GBs, anybody really, if anyone wants to tell their story, uh, I'm still down to do interviews. Uh, I might, the, the truth, oh, there's a few things I, I, I wanted to say too, actually. The truth, I, I might start doing less stuff in a few months because I'm, I'm, I'm looking to get a, a, a hale, a certain hale, uh, which is going to take up a gang of time. So I might be doing way less stuff, unfortunately, uh, on here. So, uh, so, uh, but you know, so I'm. But for the time being, I'll still be doing interviews if anyone's down. Uh, so let let me know, cause after that, I probably won't have a lot of time to do to do interviews. I'm about to cut certain things out. Uh, unfortunately, the the interviews will probably be the 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 first one, right? Uh, next thing is I'm looking on a uh, uh on putting out my my book. Of uh, I want to do it for free. So if anyone knows how to how to do that, uh, how to like virtually for free, let me know. Uh, uh we can uh, uh uh and I and I'll put that shit together. I got I got it written. I just need to edit it one more time, and then we can uh, uh we can definitely uh, uh put that shit out. And I'll try to even put pictures and shit in there because fucking like, if it's gonna be free and I could put it online like. Like I'll, I'll throw all kinds of shit in there You know like fuck it Even the drawings and shit Fuck it why not So yeah that's one thing I'm working on So yeah anyone wants to do uh, Anyone wants to uh, uh, do an interview Not the GB's TG's It stood for the group Oh shit interesting Anyone want to do interviews Let me know I might stop doing those uh, Later uh, Later in the year But for now I'm gonna I'm gonna do them I have one tomorrow Tomorrow at 6.30pm if you guys want to check it out, it should be a good interview. Uh, much love to the Nasty Crew. Much love to my Wyatt babies. And with that, we out. Peace.